Hello all, my name's Jamie and this is Bruno here. We're here at ZSL Whipsnay Zoo for our feathery Fridays today. And I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about this very unique bird here. Now Bruno here is called the Battler Eagle, which is a bird found in Africa. They got a very unique name as well, Battler Eagle. It actually is a word that comes from France, which um, is street performer. And I'll explain a little bit about that later on. Um, when he's actually, where you, get, you guys will see him flying a little bit. But I'll tell you a little bit about himself. Now he's a very cheeky little fella, he's very nosy as well. So whenever we're in here, it's Avery here, cleaning out, he likes to come down because he's actually a very sweet little bird and the only one that we have here that actually likes a little bit of a cuddle, don't you Bruno? He likes a little head scratch. There we go, on hello. He's a very cute little bird, bless him. So he always comes down every morning and normally follows us around as we're trying to clean out. So he's a very distracting little bird, that's it. But we find him usually in our shows up at our main arena. And um, he's a very unique flyer. So you can see these birds as they're flying around. The reason they're called battler eagles is street performers like a tightrope walker. They use their wings to balance themselves. They've got very short tails on them, as you'll see when he flies. But he's also very unique when he's actually looking for prey because his design is to soar at these low altitudes and he's looking for things like serpents for example. So he's a specialist serpent eagle and um, so he'll soar around these low altitudes looking for um, snakes. He'll swoop down and he's got a few incredible ways to actually help catch his snakes. So he'll pounce on them using his powerful feet here and he'll fluff up all of his feathers including a crown or a crest on top of his head up here. And by puffing them up, if the snake was to strike at him, and get, instead of getting him, it will get a mouthful of feather. He's also got this incredible ability to flush some blood away from his face and his feet, which will change the coloration of them, but um, also kill, cause them down, because a lot of snakes will see in heat vision. So instead of actually getting hot, um, striking at the hottest part of him, which is going to be the vulnerable bits, like his face, his face and his feet, he'll instead strike more at the feathers where they won't be able to get hold of him. While he's got them though, he'll throw his head upwards and he'll throw it down in a hacking motion. And these birds have got a very short tail on him, again you see this when he's flying, um, to actually stop them from being damaged while he's bringing his head up because as his head comes up, his tail comes down. So he's a pretty incredible bird, bless him. So this is where we usually fly lovely Bruno here, um, up at our bird arena. So if you've seen our shows before, you may have actually seen him flying here in our bird arena. But just behind us, we have our butterfly house, which is getting um, some work done to it at the moment. And um, Bruno, bless him, he is quite a sensitive soul. So um, any work that's going on over there does kind of make him a little bit nervous. So it does mean that we, at the moment, we can't actually fly him at the arena, but we are lucky enough that through the winter we were flying up on the downs um, up by our river cottage so um, we'll show you some of that footage um, of him flying up there as well because he, he is absolutely amazing up there and um, we've gone back to flying him back up there for the time being um, when we've got the right wind direction but on a day where it's a bit bad and um, we still bring him up here so he still knows the arena and we can just get him kind of used to being up here still and even seeing anything that may be going on in the back house as well ZSL walk all over the world with conservation projects to help animals that are endangered come back from the brink of extinction. So if you can, please donate anything you can. Um, anything would be a massive big help. So thank you very much and goodbye.